lot of you have a dream of finding work in germany a dream of finding work in eu considering job market is still doing so well even in these difficult times you might hear out that people are getting jobs in germany people are getting jobs in eu then you might be thinking what are you doing wrong in your application process what are you missing out how you should approach to the employers to apply for the jobs how you should attend the interviews is it really hard to get a job in germany is it really hard to get a job in eu i myself had been in the same boat as yours almost around 6.5 years ago i'm also in touch with the people who are struggling in the same boat as you are so today i am going to share is it really hard to get a job in germany or eu what you can do to get a job here what things you can focus on to get hired by a german employer to get hired by a european employer so stick around and watch the video to gain maximum information hi guys this is sandeep khera and you are watching conical education before we proceed further let me remind you to subscribe below and enable the bell notifications to not miss any updates on this channel you can also follow me on my social media pages links for all of them are given in the description below let's dive into today's video in my view it is not impossible to get a job in germany to get a job in european markets from outside eu it's only about your application style how you approach the employers what is your job search strategy and the legal view let's discuss all these points in detail further in the video first of all let us understand the legal view many times applicants ask me are german employers allowed to hire people from outside germany from outside eu considering there are a lot of skilled people available in germany lot of skilled people are available in eu let me tell you a good news here is that in march 2020 government passed an act called as skilled migration act 2020 under this act german employers are allowed to hire people from outside germany from outside eu if they are equally competitive or sometimes they are more better more skilled than the local talent here the reason why government has passed this act is that country is facing lot of shortages for the highly skilled people within germany or highly skilled people within eu that's why they are looking to the outside germany looking for the people outside eu to get the talented people to work here to support in their economy to support in their industry you can also go on internet and search about skill migration act 2020 germany you will find lot of information there you can also visit the website make it in germany you will find these details over there and all these details are also available on other government websites as well if i talk about other countries in eu you can focus on countries such as netherlands switzerland sweden finland and others by the way if you look for the job in switzerland then you have high chance to get a job there considering lot of english speaking jobs are available there so it really improves your chance to get hired by a eu employer I will also make a separate video about the legal perspective about the legal view in other countries in EU. Before I proceed further, let me tell you that you can download my free best practices resume guide from this link here, which will help you to craft a converting CV, to get more interview calls, to get admission at a German or European university. I also provide coaching and support services such as job search coaching, job search visa support, I help to get admission in bachelor's and master's as well. You can write to me on the below given email address or you can contact me through my website mentioned below. Let's proceed further into the video. Second challenge applicant face is that how to approach a German employer, how to approach an EU employer. Let me tell you that job application style and application format here in Germany, here in EU quite different than many other countries in the world. you might be using a cv you might be using a cover letter or your application document in a different structure which is not relevant here due to which you are not getting the interview calls even if you have worked on lot of great technologies and you are from the high demand profession when i talk about cv make sure it is not too long because reading 5 to 10 pages long cv can be boring for anyone so you have to sell yourself better consider it as a flyer or sales document it must deliver maximum information about you very concisely and very clearly you have to find the right balance in your cv and you have to deliver maximum information to the hiring manager maximum information to the recruiter you can try to highlight your accomplishments your achievements 
in your CV and try to relate them to your work experiences. Try to write your achievements, numbers, put them with stories and with some examples. I'm sure you are aware that we are living in the era of stories. Hiring managers and recruiters wants to see honesty and emotions. They want to see what kind of connection do you have with the position, what you bring on the table and how do you justify that you are the right fit for the position with your skills and other important things. So always make sure to highlight such things in your application documents. Third is use professional network what it is designed for. We are living in 21st century and you are just few clicks away from anyone in the world. You must have a strong network with the people who are working in your domain in the country you are targeting, whether it is Germany or whether it is any other EU country. I know it is really hard to develop such a network. Let me tell you one thing, developing such a powerful and active network takes time. It's a process. It's a journey. You cannot have such a powerful network in two months. You have to spend time on that. You have to give value to the people. Then only it is possible that you will have a strong network. You will be connecting better with the people and then you get more information about the local market and you will be applying better to the jobs as per the local standards there. It is just about pitching yourself correctly. Many times people tell me that they have sent lot of connection requests and not many people are accepting their connection, which is normal. You have to personalize your connection request. You must mention the proper message why you are connecting, what you can do for the person and what you are looking for. If you follow this approach, you will have better chance to be connected with the person who is located in the local market. And more connections you have in the local market, you will remain more updated. You can ask more information to the people working there in your technologies or in other technologies. You can understand the local market better and you can align your job application strategy. You can align your job application process accordingly. Definitely, this is going to help a lot in your application process. You must also give value to them before asking for any kind of help, asking for any kind of information. One thing I want to warn you very clearly here, you must never ask for the referrals directly to the person. You must give some value to the person. You must nurture your relation. Then only person will think that you are really interested to move to Germany. You are really interested to move to Europe. You are putting in all the required efforts. And if the person is interested, he will guide you properly. He will guide you how you can apply to the employers, what things you have to be careful about. And maybe he also might get interested to offer you the referral, considering the enthusiasm in you, considering the relation between both of you. I can speak a lot on this topic. You can also explore more on internet about this. But the point is not that you need a lot of rules. The point is that you must be disciplined to follow few rules seriously and religiously. Then only it is possible for you to get hired by a German employer, to get hired by a European employer. So just think about what I have just shared. That is all for today. You can give a thumbs up or comment below, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.